In a 2015 article in Sociology Compass, I use Irving Goffman's work on interaction ritual to provide a framework for understanding research in the sociology of sports. In his 1967 book on interaction ritual, Essays on Face-to-Face -face Behavior, Irving Goffman identifies four themes of character that are important to understanding interaction. He argues that displays of character show something not only about the individual performing the action, but also about the values that society holds. The four themes of character that Goffman identifies are courage, gameness, integrity, and composure. And these themes can be used as a framework for understanding work in the sociology of sports, even though Goffman was not specifically talking about sports in his book. As you'll see in the upcoming sections where I describe each of these themes, there's research in the sociology of sports that connects well to each of them. I'll first talk about the themes of courage and gameness. And as you'll see, I discuss these two together because they are well connected when considering their relationship to sports. In terms of the definitions, courage is an individual's ability to proceed with a course of action despite the danger that exists. And gameness is expending considerable effort in the face of setbacks or pain. So now combining these two when thinking about sports makes sense because often the danger that exists is connected to setbacks and pain. So that much of the research that addresses courage or gameness really is addressing both. Goffman's themes of character reflected in courage and gameness can be seen in examples of athletes who continue to, to play despite injuries. In fact, research on the normalization of pain shows that athletes come to expect pain and expect to play through pain. They're thus confronting the danger that comes with continuing to play despite injury, and in playing through pain, they're overcoming the setbacks caused by the injury. In another line of research, we see gendered assumptions of competence where women are assumed to not be able to be successful in competition with men without help. And research on co-ed sports has shown that these sports often have rules that are designed to help women be successful. And this connects to the ideas of gameness and overcoming in order to achieve success. The examples I just gave show some of the research that connects to Goffman's themes of courage and gameness. So now I'll turn to a discussion of Goffman's theme of integrity. Goffman defines integrity as resisting the temptation to depart from moral standards. A considerable amount of research on integrity in sports looks at the issue of what is even considered cheating, and not all cheating is seen the same way. So additional work presents a typology of clean versus dirty cheating. Clean cheating is not penalized unless it becomes particularly obvious and athletes are allowed to get away with it otherwise. Dirty cheating involves personal financial gain that arises from a betrayal of trust. And this is clearly defined as cheating, seen as cheating. Research has also examined how cheating may be normalized for children in sports as they are taught how to cheat as they progress through the ranks of their sports. Goffman's final theme of character is composure, and we turn to discuss that now. Goffman's final theme, composure, is seen simply as an athlete's poise. And some of the research that looks at poise has looked at the home advantage in certain sports. This highlights how the social setting can influence an athlete's poise as fans may try to disrupt an athlete's performance. Poise is also demonstrated when athletes fail. Research on failing shows that other players often do not know how to respond to an athlete when they're about to be traded or waived from a team, that athletes don't know how to respond to this concept of failing, and no one wants to think about what it might mean for them. What I've tried to demonstrate in this short talk is that research in the sociology of sports can be categorized using these four themes of character from Goffman's work on interaction rituals in everyday life. One of the main points that Goffman made was that these themes of character demonstrate society's values. And so when we think about the research that was discussed, we can think about how it reflects back on our society. So stories of courage and gameness are found to have a broad appeal as stories about underdogs who win or people who persevere play well to an audience. Playing through pain has become normalized for athletes. 
When it comes to integrity, we see that not all cheating is treated the same in sports. So integrity only gets questioned if an athlete gets caught or if they engage in dirty cheating. So really cheating has become normalized in some respects. And finally, we see that people are expected to maintain their poise even when others try to disrupt their performance. And so this shows that controlling one's emotions has become normalized in some respects. So all in all, when we think about these themes of character, we can think about how they reflect on the values of our society and how sports are connected to society's values.